You say, what is it that you want? You've got everything that a woman could ever need in life. I got a closet full of... In 2005, a group of talented actors lent their voices to a bunch of New York City zoo animals, including a lion, a giraffe, a hippo, and a zebra. Now the friends are back for another adventure in DreamWorks Madagascar, Escape to Africa. I like to move it, move it. He likes to move it, move it. She likes to move it, move it. We like to move it. What people loved about the first one were the characters, and they connected with them, and the friendships. Everybody really seemed to have their own favorites. So it was great to have everybody back. If you ever come to look us up in Manhattan, feel free to call first. Yeah, I like to move it. Seriously, though, call. We had this great ensemble cast that we just totally loved, and it really made these characters really rich. And that's a big part of the reason we wanted to do this sequel. If it's tradition, I want to do it. Strut my stuff, earn my mane. The characters are so specific, and, and they, they just come to life. So you hear your own voice, but really you get caught up in the story, and it's fun to sort of let go of that. And I think that's when you feel like the movie's working is when you're not thinking about what you're doing. You guys really need a doctor. We have an opening. Would you be interested? Me? A, a doctor? But what was really strange was seeing the movie and seeing that the animators had given Melman some qualities of my own, like my own behavior, my own acting, my own like face and expressions, and I, that freaked me out at first. <laughs> How about a t-shirt that says, I'm with stupid? I'm not stupid, not you stupid, him stupid. I try to be funny, <laughs> try, to, try to stretch every line a little bit, you know. It's, you know, cartoons are the one thing where you can be big. Goodness, girl, you huge. Who's your friend? Was that your butt? <laughs> I just thought she was hilarious. I just think, you know, she's, I love Gloria. She's just a, she's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Voila! We pitched uh, all the actors the stories that we were working on, and it just sparked everybody's interest. And so it just never was an issue for us, which was fantastic, of course. And they all, I think I had a good time on the movie, and it was just so great to work with them again because they're so much fun and they add so much. Feels like I'm in heaven. This one's funnier. Talking animals, you can't really do bad with talking animals. You guys are speaking my cracker like a language. I always have such a good time with Gloria, and it allows me to to be very playful, and it gives you an opportunity to play the character completely. I mean, outside of of myself. Melman, I want you to meet. Moto, moto. It's kind of freeing, you know, when you lose a kind of self-consciousness in a way, and you just, you just go for it. And I think everyone is gonna knock it out of the park. You got Madagascar on the brain. It was really fun because I got to work with my daughter, and so it was quite a joy on many different levels. I don't like the looks of this guy. Well, I think he's kind of cute. High five on that. Oh. With any sequel, you want it to be better than the first one. I mean, that's the goal, to try to bring back the elements that people like, but also improve on the story and have it be different. Hey, surprise, freaks! And this movie is that. It's just, it's got a lot of new stuff going on, but it also brings back all the characters that everybody likes.